for me, it's, it's pretty clear that it's happening. The, the question is how complex can the projects be? Meaning like, you know, how many assemblies can you build? For us, one question was, can you build a laser cutter in an open source fashion? And can you, you know, have other people actually follow your, your, your plans easily? Globally. Uh, and sort of, you know, making all the tools um, better, basically pushes up what can be built. You know, the next question is, can, be, can a car be built easily with, in the form of an open source project? Mm -hmm. And the better the tools are, the more complex the projects can be, obviously. And um, the other thing I was thinking is like, you know, how do, do, how do people make money off of open source hardware? And um, one solution for a lot of people is to sell kits and the parts. But very often, um, this sort of sacrifices the openness of the supplier list and the bill of materials. Um, very often, only because it's hard to manage both. It's like you know, you package sort of the parts or like sort of sub assemblies they uh, and sell them assembled, mm -hmm. uh, and then you also keep like a list of like all the raw materials. Sometimes it's hard to do at the same time, right. um, and. Uh, it, sort of something we would really like to tackle is sort of have have the system make it easy to take out certain parts, you know, package them into a module and offer both, like all the, the list of the, the, the raw supplier list and sort of like, oh, this can be assembled by the original designers or even somebody else who is part of the project and just um, sell it to the people who need it.